Zadrizes bus darīs, kas tev. Welcome to the world of ice and fire. I mean the show universe. Not the history book that you can read. It's right behind me on my shelf. It's happening. Aegon's conquest is coming. And there may be a movie. Please, before I jump into any of that, slap a like on this video. Like goal is going to be 420. <laughs> Get it? And then also, uh, <laughs> uh, make sure you subscribe and turn notifications on, please. That way you'll get alerted and notified every time I drop content here on YouTube. Also, check out some of my social media, specifically my Instagram. I'm, uh, my username is sir underscore hunt underscore reviews. Please go follow me. All right, so as we can see, this article is from Variety, and I'm pretty late in terms of how fast, you know, not only was able to get out this video, but also the news itself. Like, this was minutes of me finding out about it. I started recording this, so uh, I've only read the article once, but it says a new Game of Thrones prequel about Aegon 1 Targaryen's conquest of Westeros is being actively discussed at HBO. Variety has learned exclusively from sources. Uh, and then they go on to state, most of this article is like a re, uh, reminding everyone, you know, who Aegon was and what his conquest was, right? So they go on to state the, the juicy part. As the project is in its very early stages, no writer is currently attached. Those sources say that the search is underway as HBO is keen to move forward and get it into development. They know we're tired of waiting two years in between a season of one show when there should be... Okay, Marvel's different. This is this is this is not Marvel. Okay, this is a well thought out, all right, uh, universe. Okay, and what I mean by that is that George R. R. Martin is a literary genius. He read so much history. He read so much fantasy that he gave us a Song of Ice and Fire. It's brilliant. You don't believe me? Read it for yourself. When you're watching this video. You probably already read it, right? So what I mean is that HBO could totally do these. Like, a, a kind of like a Marvel-style approach to it. Kind of like a Star Wars approach to it, but just way better. Because HBO doesn't really put out crap. Most of their shows, even if I don't like them, it's still a really good show, right? So, it's totally possible to tell the many different eras of this show. It's about 300 years of solid history in Westeros that George has already wrote and established in 2014 when A World of Ice and Fire comes out. You know what I always say, 2014? Let me double check right now. Uh, let's see. Uh, the World of Ice and Fire release date. Ice and Fire release date. Um, yes, October 28th, 2014. So since then, this world has so many different mysteries and histories and things established that would make for amazing television. It's inclusive. They got gays. They got blacks. They got all of the different things already in this story. It's not pandering. He, he's, he's a literary genius, all right? So let's, continuing on here. Uh, sources also say that HBO, that there may be a feature component to the project, i.e. HBO Warner Brothers want to produce a feature film that would lead into the potential series, though plans remain in flux at present. That is exciting. Okay, go to YouTube. Do me a favor right now. Go to YouTube, okay? Pause this video, obviously. Um, go to the search bar. Type in Sir Hunt's Game of Thrones movie. Go watch the videos from 2019. I did like two or three of them because I was trying to still get views on my channel and the show was off, right? I said the one way to save this world is to do a movie. It doesn't matter what subject matter you cover, just do a movie. It'll get so many eyes on it. Now, remember, that was in 2019 before I read the book, so I didn't really know what the hell I was talking about, but HBO has known for a while. This has been in the plans, in the works for a while. One of the reasons why I started making those potential movie things is because one of a very uh, sort of, if you want to call it, trustworthy source said that, yo, HBO is trying to do big things. Big things are coming. And then a year later, House of the Dragon is officially announced. Two years later, it's on our screens. We're now waiting for the second season. It was the best show of all time. Potentially has the, has the potential to beat the original Game of Thrones series if they continue to stay faithful to this adaptation. Let me put my face over this damn ad. Variety. Y'all are a million billion dollar company. You don't need the ads. And it's funny because I actually have ad block on my computer, but they still show up. So what this means, right, is that HBO is not only planning on making another direct 
sequel, or sorry, prequel to House of the Dragon, but also they plan on doing it big with a movie. So that's amazing. Obviously, the movie would feature something like, uh, if I had to guess, The Burning of Harrenhal. Uh, the Field of Fire 1.0, so the Field of Fire 2.0 is what we saw in Game of Thrones Season 7 when Daenerys burned the House Tarly members, right? She burned uh, Samuel Tarly's father and his brother, Dickon. His brother, uh, remember, had that little scene with Jamie in, in Braun, and Braun says, what's your name? And he goes, Dickon. And he goes, yeah, I thought so, right? So uh, that was when Daenerys burned that cargo train that had, you know, all of the supplies and money and gold and stuff that was the Lannisters. When she burned that, that was called the Field of Fire 2.0 because in the first version, her ancestor, Aegon the Conqueror, right, he burned an entire field of people. Um, and this was sort of the reiteration of it. So if, if I had to guess, those two things would probably be what the movie was about, and then it would lead straight into the series. Uh, the series would be about conquering Westeros. So we would find out uh, mostly if, you know, if the show starts with something like uh, the Field of Fire or the Burning of Harrenhal, the series would follow the conquering of Dorne, right? So obviously the rest of Westeros kind of submits. There's a little bit of spats, but mostly it's all fought in Dorne. Dorne is... Uh, an amazing country, but it was ultimately never really conquered during Aegon's time. It wasn't conquered till much, much later, many generations, hundreds of years later, by this dude named Daron the Dragon, Daron the Young Dragon, but he honestly didn't really conquer it because it went back to being Dorne right after he died. So, Aegon, what happens down there is his sister is shot. Well, not his sister, but his sister's dragon, his wife. I'm even saying it like it's his sister, but no, it's actually his wife. Rhaenys, she's shot, right? Uh, I said it again. Her dragon, Meraxes, is shot through the eye, and Dorne ultimately kills a dragon. And then after that, Aegon and Visenya, on their dragons, Balerion and Vagar, who we've seen, right? Not so much in her prime on House of the Dragon. We'll get to see her in her prime now. Uh, they burn Dorne for like five years after that. It's a, it's, it's a crazy story. So that's what the series would be about. There's enough that George has written about it. There's enough that he probably has in his notes to make it another amazing series. It would be probably similar to House of the Dragons run, maybe two or three seasons. Perfect. Thank you all for watching. Please slap a like on this video. Like goes going to be 420. Also, make sure you subscribe and turn your notifications on. Like I said, if you want more, go to YouTube, type in Sir Hunt. As a matter of fact, just two weeks ago, three, three weeks ago, so maybe two live streams ago, right? I did a, a big hour and a half uh, expose on what all these different spinoffs could be about, and there's about a 20 to 30 minute chunk of Aegon's Conquest in that live stream. So please go do that. Uh, this is exciting because obviously I'm a fan of everything A Song of Ice and Fire, so the world's growing. Um, make sure you, you know, subscribe here to YouTube. Uh, I also make Dune and Lord of the Rings content if this is your, one of your first times seeing uh, some of my videos. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Consider checking out my Patreon if you want to uh, <clears throat> help me lo no longer rely on YouTube's ad revenue. It's linked down below in the description. And over there is a video podcast exclusive to that platform called Leaks and Lore. I mostly only talk about A Song of Ice and Fire. I've done a few Dune videos, but for the most part, you can just join for two bucks and you immediately get access to hours and hours of content that, like I said, is exclusive to patreon.com. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Alonat, Zaldrezas, Pustar, Exostador.